Let's -a go. Hey guys, I'm back, and it's uh, been about two weeks uh, since we had like no chapter whatsoever. I think it's been about yeah, just about like two weeks because of the uh, New Year slash holidays that uh, Japan went on for about a couple of weeks. So now we're back. Well, of course this doesn't really drop officially till Monday officially, but you know, scalation wise, it's already out right now. But Anyways, so, how's it going, guys? Uh, I hope you guys enjoyed your uh, your holidays. Hope your New Year's is pretty good. Uh, hope you guys had a really awesome just holiday overall. And we are welcoming the new year with the very first Ooh. chapter that has come out of this year, 2016. So, yeah, and what better way to start it? Unfortunately, there's no Torica right now from what I'm looking at. So, the only thing we're going to get right now is just one piece. And bleach but it's whatever um all right so one piece chapter 812 capone gang mm, i have a feeling we're gonna have to ugh, i have a feeling the capone gang's gonna be involved a lot especially because from what happened uh the last chapter where we saw them and peckham just like go on to the island where like sanji's well where sanji's group is so that I can't wait to see. So we get our first little cover page, and it's uh, based on the posters of the time skip, and we got Nami, and of course I figured the fucking dude was going to get pissed because he's in the picture of uh, uh, of Nami. Uh, <laughs> I figured that. It's a really good picture, though. I mean, I'm not going to lie. So it's about... Yeah, so that's... um. Yoko, I think, or I forget Nami's sister's name. It's been a while. Then we have uh, uh, Gonzo. That was his name. Gonzo, I think his name was. Yeah, Gonzo, the the dude with the uh, pinwheel on his hat. Yeah, I know. It's it's been a it's been a very uh, sue me. I know it's been a long time since I have read the Harlong stuff. It's been a long time, but yeah, that 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 was, and I. I just let me know in the comments, because I really... I know Gonzo's definitely the dude with the pinwheel, and I know that's Nami's sister, but... Whatever. Oh, that's a really nice cover page of uh, Sanji. Oh, I like the Robin one, too. That one is... It looks too realistic, though, but I like it. It looks really cool. All right. Mm-hmm. All right, finally. Oh, here we go. Oh, here we go. Shit. All right. The Capone game ba uh, Gang Beige, oh god. I was going to say Gang Bang, but it wouldn't sound right. Okay, so. Chasing after the Swirly Hat Pirates, the Yonko Big Mom Pirates disembark. Oh, shit. And there's Capone, and there's Peckham's, and they're over on the island. Arr, what the hell is going on? Where is everyone in this country? What happened here? God. Who has the gall to do such a thing to Zoa? Was it the Straw Hat Pirates? What the hell have they done? Well, obviously he's pissed because keep this in mind from what we learned last time is that technically Zoa is Peckham's homeland. So, oh shit. So I think Big Mom and the gang or whoever the pirate themselves might even be on the Straw Hat shit list even more because, oh man. Okay, so we're going back to here. Makono, Dukedom, um, Dekdom, Right Belly Fortress. Uh, this fortress was a castle for a local lord created by our ancestors long ago. Zeno Hushi has remained unchanged this entire time, but continues on carrying the history of the Mink tribe. Ooh, okay, what in God's name is this? So, okay, Wanda is training clothes with Nami. That's, training clothes with a foreigner is a sign of our friendship. Oh, okay, that looks really, really revealing. I'm, I'm not gonna lie there. This wardrobe is definitely high-end designer quality, like it belonged to someone important. Correct. This one is particular, is concerned a national treasure. Oh, shit. Yeah, you got that right. A national treasure for uh, getting pretty fucking horny. Yeah, look at... I mean, Jesus. I mean, you could pretty much see almost everything underneath that shit, so... But Nami doesn't care, because if it's made of money, you know, she doesn't really care. Uh, and you're trying to give it to me? But of course, everyone wanted you to have it. <laughs> Yeah, she's got the belly eyes. I should have figured that. She always cares about money. Ah, oh, 
Uh, and of course, everyone is like, you know, and deeply in love with that. And of course, damn, Sanji trying to snuggle with the fucking, like, what is it? Uh, I think it's a squirrel chick? Squirrel nurse? I don't know what the hell it is, but it's like a squirrel nurse or something. You're not just on. Someone is sure found of greeting people. Oh, God. Sanji, please be careful. I hope I hope the whole... Well, that again, he did get the blood transfusion. I'm really hoping he doesn't have that same bullshit where he just fucking bleeds out again, which... Ugh, that will really piss me off. What is this splendor they call the Garuchi? Perhaps a wondrous incarnation of love. Oh God. Sanji, don't forget about us. Garuchi, who the fuck's talking to you? I don't give a shit about men. Yeah, well, it figures that. <laughs> Yo, oh man, I just really, I just really want to see the Capone, like, I just want to see them battle or some shit, like, I, I think now we're finally getting closer to the mystery of, of what happened between, um, um, Sanji's, uh, where Sanji's disappeared to and all that, uh, Viva Mink Ship, uh, hey, uh, a goddess, N no, it's Navi oh, Jesus Christ. Uh, all right, yeah, it's just Sanji. <laughs> what the fuck is he like? It's either he's flying through the fucking air through the trees and shit, or he, Nami just fucking punched him. I don't know. He doesn't look like he's injured yet, but I guess we'll see. And okay, they don't even show that. No, that was really. I'm I'm assuming he must have just like just jumped out of the fucking air and just like flew. I don't know because he was just that horny. I don't know. So, anyways. How's Momo? And we could Momo's case is sleeping. The same as always, being locked up alone in his room tends to settle him down. Brooke's like, well, we shouldn't let him be seen in his human form. Yes, agree. Hey, Caesar, how's that medicine coming along? Um, Chopper tells Caesar that, and Caesar's like, the, the assignments have been completed, of course, by my genius. Pick up the pace. Quit slacking off. Dear Caesar, I come to pick up the medicine. Hey, don't go tossing around misleading labels. I'm a Paramecius, and it's Caesar. <laughs> Damn it all, I'm stuck here making medicine to help people. What is wrong with this picture? Yeah, what is wrong with this? Caesar's supposed to be like fucking like this sadistic evil scientist and shit. Because um, he was the one that fucked all those kids up on the island with the candy. So, And now all of a sudden he's helping, you know, making medicines and shit. I mean, I, I guess because, you know, Chopper pretty much forced him to, which obviously Chopper still has a grudge with him, but... Ah, Bone Baron, your legion of fans are waiting outside. Looks like it's hard to feel flattered when your fan base are a bunch of dogs. Yeah, because they want some of them bones. <laughs> of course, did you see the last time where Wanda was chewing on your ass like so many times with the fucking bones? Of course, because doggies love bones. It's, it's, it's obvious. You're not going to get like no ordinary kind of love. You're going to get doggy love. So, But in the wrong way possible. <laughs> <laughs> What the fuck? Peckham's is crying and shit. He's like, everyone's okay after all. Father, brother, all my friends and relatives. When I saw the shape that the town was in, my heart nearly stopped. <laughs> Damn. He went from like being like one of the most ferocious, like, uh, or just like a serious kind of like dude that serves under like one of the Yonko. He's just like begging and crying and shit because he sees his homeland and all the animals are okay. What the fuck is that thing? A goddamn gerbil? Or a middle-aged gerbil? Ugh. I don't know what the hell it is. Looks like a middle-aged woman, except it's like a gerbil or a lion. I don't know. I think it's a gerbil mouse. Whatever the fuck it is. Everyone's okay thanks to the Straw Hat Pirates. It's been so many years since you've come here, Peggy. Damn it all. I had no idea this was happening. Curse you, Jack, f from the Beast from the beast Pirates. Oh. <laughs> oh, damn. So now Peckham's is actually feeling some... uh. Some, uh, some regret. Oh, so. <laughs> I was right then. He did get punched from Nami. Because I see the fucking injuries on him and shit. Oh, man. Yeah, I was, I, I was right on that. Yeah. I should have figured. I mean, I don't, I don't think. I mean, yeah, Sanji could skywalk and shit, but he can't go that fucking high. I should have figured that. <laughs> uh, but, um, anyways, yeah. So now it turns out that Peckham's like, maybe. See, now, I don't know if this means he really is going to go after, like, Sanji's group or the Straw Hats in general now. Because especially if Big Man were to, I mean, if Luffy did want to declare war on Big Man, that's that, that's the thing, too. 
Huh. See, now I don't know. So does this mean Pegums are going to try to turn Mom over a new leaf that they don't want to fight anymore? Because they said thanks to the Straw Hats and Jack. So I'm assuming maybe Peckhams won't try to hurt him. But it's a big twist. But we'll see. Over there, it's the guys from the Big Mom Pirates. That's not me. That's Peckhams. A long time ago, he was, um, one is like, oh, Peckhams, a long time ago, he was well known for his youthful indestruction. Do you know him? Um, <clears throat> Sanji's like, oh, I see. He's a mink too. Huh, that they may have called. They may have called wind of us coming here, which means they must be after me. Please, I'm begging you. You wouldn't hand me over to them, right? Oh, <laughs> oh that's uh, that's fucking Caesar Clown. Oh, that's Caesar Clown dog. <laughs> yeah, he won't hand him over to me, right? Hmm. Well. Uh, oh shit. Let, let's see. You were our trump card for defeating Flamingo. Sanji saying that. But since Luffy and the others took him down already, you are just excess badges as far as I am concerned. How rude. <laughs> He's like, how rude. Can you talk to your friend that way? Friend, don't push your luck. <laughs> what did you do to Big Mom anyways? And he's like, well, she has commissioned some specific research for me. Research that didn't quite end up bearing any fruit. So I kind of told her a small white lie and took the payment from her for it and anyway. Since I had Dolphamingo as a buffer, I figured he'd be pretty much untouchable. You reap what you... Hey, you reap what you sell. Wow. Okay, then. Oh, shit. It's like... Sanji's like, wait. Well, it'd be great of all if we had to do to get them off our backs is to hand over Caesar. <clears throat> oh. <coughs> Oh, it's going back into a little flashback. Oh, that moment where Luffy was like, I'm going to find you in the new world and beat the crap out of you. Oh, yeah, that moment for Fisherman Island. Ugh. Yeah, I don't know if Beckham's is going to let them go that easily. Because despite them saving the fucking threats from, like, Jack's men and shit, I don't know. But Luffy already started the pod with Big Mom. So Fisherman Island is under my... Oh, oh okay, it's going back to that flashback. Um, Chopper's like, yeah, we did wreck their ship after all. And then sees like, hey, Black Lake, how about you and I team up and get rid of those two, huh? <coughs> <coughs> Nami-san, you stay here with everyone else. Brooke, you come with me. Yes, sir. Oh, shit. Yo, is Sanji gonna fight Capone? Is Sanji really gonna fight Capone in this? Oh, shit. Oh, 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 no. Oh, uh, yeah. Alright, come on, Black Lady. Assassination is our best option here. If you're not willing to face the consequences of your action, I suggest you shut the hell up. <clears throat> Sanji's like, no. <laughs> Sanji is like, nah. I ain't having none of that shit today, Capone. Oh, man. <laughs> He's like, what business do the big mom pirates have here? Oh. Your presence is making everyone um, anxious. After what the people of the country have gone through, oh, their bodies oh. and their hearts are covered in scars. <sighs> and and what the f Beckham's is hugging Sonny. I have nothing to say to you but my thanks. Oh wow. So Brooks is like, huh? I had no idea that this was happening to my own, <sighs> to my hometown, my birthplace, and you all, uh, and you all are its greatest saviors. How can I possibly thank you? <laughs> <laughs> wow. On top of the direct orders we already had from Mama to capture Caesar, we have another new mission on our agenda which could possibly break apart your crew. Hmm. Oh boy. I wonder if this is going to lead up to where finally Sanji leaves. Alright. Let's hear this. So I'll gladly turn a blind eye to this. I'll report that part of our mission as a failure. So please, just hand over Caesar. I'll say we failed to capture the Straw Hat Pirates. I'm sure I'll be able to smooth things out with her somehow. <laughs> and Capone's like, what the hell, Peckhams? Are you fucking serious? Don't put your own personal in- Yo, damn. Don't put your own personal interest ahead of our mission. <laughs> and like, keep your mouth shut, newcomer. I'll take whatever punishment comes myself. They saved the lives of my family and friends. I can't. I won't let anything happen to them. And then Capone's like, Shh, you naive little shit. Damn. What the f- Yo. Yo. Capone just like fucking like, what the- Yo. He just took a hit on Peckham's. Oh, sh- 
Yo! Oh yeah, I forgot about that building and shit. He can have his own men, like, go into, like, his entire body. Like, his entire body is made out of, like, um... It's like... I don't know. It's made some kind of, like... It's some kind of material. Like, I forget. He's, like, some kind of, like, machinery or something like that. Which I, I kind of forget, but... Hmm. What? He shot his own crewmate in the back? Yo, damn. Yo, Capone. Capone, man. You are making a big mistake right now, man. Dick move. That That is a huge dick move. And taking out Peckham's? But I'm thinking, the fuck? This dude is part of Big Man's crew. Like, one of the top tier. And, holy shit. Capone just, like, fucking... I mean, that again, it is two years later, so I'm pretty sure he must have gotten some what stronger, like, with hockey and stuff, which kind of makes sense. And I think someone like this was able to make a name for himself as a pirate. Absolutely prophetic, letting his emotions and personal feelings get the better of him. Such things will only turn you into a fool and a coward. We ain't got no more use for someone like that. I'll handle things from here on out. Yo, everybody out. Oh, oh shit. Yo, Capone's going in right now. Capone is going in. Oh, and here it comes. Oh, and here comes his entire man coming out of his like, coming out of the uh, uh uh of the actual body. Oh shit, yeah. Now he's releasing them out of the um out of the thing or whatever. I forget what his devil fruit thing is. It, it, it's weird, but it's pretty cool though because well that's kind of like a disadvantage because you have like so many people working under you in like your own entire body. Like that's kind of like kind of cheating though don't you think it's like humans surrender you're out of your depth here oh yo capone's mafia boys are just like all over fucking straw hats right now holy sh oh it's a tank that's what it is he's like a, a human uh human tank oh that, that that's what he was okay i'm trying to remember what capone's powers were like exactly because i remember seeing it Back way before the time skip with the archipelago stuff, but okay. You don't know me, don't you? You should. Your captains caused quite a few waves in this era, and I've been riding that current. Sounds like, what the hell kind of double fruit user are we dealing with? I've eaten the Shiro Shiro no me. I am a Shiro man, well, also known as a tank man. So obviously, he's actually like a, a living, he's like a living, breeding, like a, like a weapon tank. So that's like what he is. And he can actually use his own men as, like, personal ammo and shit. So, that's actually a pretty cool fucking ability, though. Like, I I'm not gonna lie, though. Like, that ability, even though it is pretty cheap, and most of the time, I will say, though, when it comes to that, um, that's actually pretty OP of, like, for an ability. And not to mention, I wonder if he has hockey now. If he has hockey, that's gonna be, it's gonna be even more sick. The humans just really pop out of his stomach. That's what Sanji was saying. Brooke is like, I thought I saw people in the palm of your hand earlier, so I wasn't seeing things after all. I would have liked to, and then Capone's like, I would have liked the gun all out and blown them into oblivion with a cannon, but I didn't want to cause a scene. With so many eyes on us, it would have caused trouble for me as well. It's like, it's weird. I refuse to believe Packums will go down on easily. He's like one of the most top members of Big Man's crew. Like, like, dead ass on that? So is Capone really that strong to be like on top tier with Big Man? The fuck? That still babbles me though. Like, <coughs> cause we saw him in Fishman Island. This dude was rocking like the Zoan shit. Like, this lion had like a fucking turtle shell and he had like all combat gear and shit. And not to mention, he has hockey. So, he learned the, the fucking six paths shit. So, the hell? If the minks were drawn here and now, they would certainly take your side. And I know just how powerful they can be in battle. Vito, bring them with us. Yes, sir. Uh, uh, um. so, sorry, I got worried. Who the hell is this dude with the tongue? Guess it's part of one of his crew members. Sorry, I thought there was only two of them. Oh, what the? Oh, no. Chopper Nami. Nami Chopper. Get your ass out of here, too, Caesar. <laughs> in two seconds, fire the Karasuki bullets into the air. Blast him out of the sky. Oh, damn. Okay. Holy shit. And they just shot Caesar straight down. Yo. What? Wait, just hold on. I'm here. Don't shoot. Pfft. Damn. And they just like... <laughs> oh, there we go, Caesar. Yep, he just got shot. Now. <sighs> damn. Looks like all the actors of our play have gathered. For the record, I don't really have any Karasuki bullets. What? <laughs> 
But I do have one Kurosuke Spear. Now then, I'm not big on that idle chat, so come into my castle. Damn it, everything's going perfectly according to this uh, according to this pace. Don't make me repeat myself. Oh. I have a feeling it's either, I think it's going to be Sanji and Caesar. I think they're the ones that are going to go with Capone, I guarantee you. I mean, we still have some few pages left. Oh, shit. Okay, so we got a blank page. Peckham's is still down, and Capone's looking at... Wait. Am I seeing... Yo. So... I was right. So, it does lead up to that. Sanji himself... Oh, wait, wait, wait. Yeah, it looks like it. Oh, wait, no, no, no. The rest of the crew is one. I was about to say... Capone's castle, though. Holy shit. Damn, is that really what he's living in? Damn. It's a huge-ass mansion. Well, that, again, it's, it, 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 it is... In, uh, it is, like, inside his own body and shit, so... <laughs> Would you care for something to eat? Keep your stinking food. How about some wine? I said no. Hurry up and tell us what it is you want. This is the end of the line. I'm going to be killed. <clears throat> what an obstinate man. Things are a little different from when we met a week ago. This is an invitation card that I've been holding on to for a tea party that mama's throwing. Oh, no. The, man, the main event this time around is going to be... Oh, shit. Are you kidding me? Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. I... I don't even want to imagine the... It's a wedding ceremony. Oh. I mean, as long... I have... Okay. I can kind of see where they're going with this now. Wait, 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 hold the fucking phone. What the fuck was that? The, the bridegroom, the bridegroom will be the third son of the Ven, of the Ven Smek, the Ven Smoke family, Sanji. The bride will be the 35th daughter of the Charlotte family, Porin. Yo! Oh my god! Are you kidding me? Oh, fuck you! And the chapter's gonna be over. Ah, oh, Sanji's getting married. Hmm. <sighs> hmm. Okay, so. Yeah, so we were, so we were right on this shit. Sanji is part of a, probably part of a noble family. He is the third son of Vince Smoke. I'm assuming it's got to be some kind of loyal family that Sanji's, that's why he was called the prince. Yo, I think the dearest might actually be right on this one. And I don't know who the fuck the Charlotte Pirates are. I don't think they were even, like, returning characters. I'm assuming she might be part of, like, the Celestial Dragons or something even that. I don't really know. That's... Holy shit. Wow. Just wow. So... So that, I think now we finally know the answer on why Sanji is actually going to be accepting this. Well, granted, at least it's not fucking... Well, you know, for a second I got scared because I thought it was Big Mam he was going to marry or something. But, but no. But no. Apparently, she actually planned this wedding with the both of these people to begin with. And Sanji's in fucking shock. I'm like, no. Oh my god. It's got to be some royal family shit. It, it, it has to be. I think we were 
we were right on the money with this shit. We gotta be right on the money with this shit. He's he's gotta be royalty. Oh my god. Yo, that's crazy, man. Oh my god. Oh, oh. oh wow. Wow. Holy shit. Man, what a what a way to start 2016 off, man. Just Wow, okay. First chapter of the year, and it starts off with a fucking bang like that. Wow. Capone, I didn't think would get this ridiculously strong after two years. Easily able to take out Peckham's. I still can't believe that, because Peckham's is top tier on Big Man's, like, one of the top executives. Same with that other guy, the dude who sips tea and shit with the hat. That dude, they're strong. The, the lion was strong as shit the last time we saw him, and then... Capone just takes, I guess because, okay, you can argue Peckins is probably caught off guard, which is probably why I'm assuming he got shot so many times, but I didn't expect him to be taken out so easily. I guess maybe because he was caught off guard, but oh my god. Like, I couldn't believe it. One of, like, the strongest, I mean, a lot of people may not like it for not hyping up Peckins the way he's supposed to be, but still, like, yo. That's crazy. That that's fucking insane. So it turns out that Peckham's really wasn't the strongest threat that you know that we you know that we thought he is. I mean, I guess it's because since he was caught off guard, I didn't think Capone was this ridiculously strong though. And, and that he probably must have you know hockey and shit by now, especially with that Delford ability, that OP shit, yo. And his bounty has gone up. I just realized that too. I forgot to mention the bounty. I think it was like over over three. 3 million or something like that? Is it 3 million or 3 billion? If, not 3 billion. It can't be 3. Or maybe it might be 3 billion. It's a possibility. That It could be 3 billion. I'm pretty sure it must be... It might be 3 billion. Because I don't think it was in the millions. That looked like billions to me, man. It could be 3... But it could be like 300 like million. Because I think it was like 100 something million. But it might be 300 something million by now. Or it could be that. I mean, I couldn't really tell by numbers. But still, it was a really huge, fucking huge-ass bounty. So, I guess because maybe it did skyrocket. Because, hey, if members from, like, the Yonko, like, the top executives of the Yonko can have, like, that fucking highest ability, I wouldn't be surprised if Capone really has that big high of an ability. Now, since he's working with Big Man, man you kind of combined forces with her. Like, him and his crew combined and joined forces with her crew. So possibility but anyways overall there was just too much for me to take into this chapter even though the beginning stuff was you know just pandering you know it was like the usual one piece moments but the middle and the ending of this chapter yo it it, it just made up so it made up with so much yo like, like literally from capone fucking betraying peckham's to finally get into that answer of why sanji has left the crew alone, is going solo right now, on why he decided to go alone. So, I'm assuming, since he is gone from the crew in present day, I'm assuming this means that he accepted the invitation. That, you know, that he accepted it, which is a possibility. He might have accepted it, or he's just doing it just to plan something, to maybe crash the wedding, which is what I'm assuming why he went with them. But overall, man, this chapter gets a solid 5 out of 5, man. It, it was such an awesome chapter. Such a great way to start things off in 2016. I didn't expect the middle of the ending part. I, I was so glad we finally, uh, finally are really, really close to finding out that if Sanji really accepted the invitation or he's just doing it just to plan something to crash the wedding. Since he's gone, I'm assuming he must have accepted it, but he's probably planning something along the way. And then... This is why Oda says this is the year of Sanji, man. The year of Sanji. All right, so I'm done. Let me know your thoughts in the comment section below because I got to go into work. And later on, I'm going to be doing some Toriko uh, later on since the chapter finally just dropped. But anyways, that's pretty much it. Don't forget to rate, comment, and subscribe as always. Um, man, what would you guys think, man? That was... Oh, my God, man. Oh, oh man. Oh. oh. I did not expect that shit at all. I, I really did not. But anyways, that's pretty much it. 5 out of 5 once again. I'm the Ninja Reviewer signing out. Peace out. Anime Manga fans keep supporting much, really much, watch. And I'll see you guys next week for Chapter 813. <sighs> Oda, 
Keep this up. And Oda, please do not take any more breaks. Come on. All of you guys in Japan were on break for two fucking weeks. Please don't do it within the next two or three chapters. Keep on going. Keep on going. If you give us more chapters, we can speed this shit up even quicker. The, the mystery now is getting even more incredibly hype. So, yeah. Later. Okay.